about a month ago, I put in an application for the Kowali crew, which you'll see on screen right now. I gave them the generous offer that I would lend my services to them as a way to kind of fill out Kowali, to kind of, you know, give my own personal touch on it. But unfortunately, I gave them 24 hours to respond or else I would rescind my offer and unfortunately, I had to. But with that being said, I would not let that get me down. I saw it to myself, listen, leave, we must take this into our own hands. We must make our own Koali. And you know what? That's exactly what I did over here. Welcome everyone to Koali Mini Golf. Now, this is not like, you know, I, it was a little bit of a shit post at first, but listen, I really do love Koali and the entire Koali crew and everything that they have done for the Planet Zoo community, inspiring so many people. It's very much a love letter to all of them over the like past years. Well, v very many years, actually, if we do go back in Kowali lifespan. But this entire project is a little bit of a love letter to the entire Kowali crew. Uh, Sheets, Mr. Sheets, I do apologize. My foliage work is nowhere near as good as yours. But I hope you can give me some pointers going forward. <laughs> but, of course, with that being said, this is now up on the workshop for all of you guys to try all the way back at home. And with that being said, we're going to start off over here with the information that I have over here. So obviously, in order to play, rename the tape here Dave Bamber, this unlocks the ability to double tap on enrichment. I've set up a training course directly to your right to help you get accommodated to the controls. And of course, thank you to the Kuali crew for inspiring countless builders across the community. Cheers, as always. So with that being said, I've already preemptively named this tape here Dave Bamber for you. Obviously a five star tape here. There is no room for, you know, schmucking on your tape here's over here. Am I right, Rudy? Now, of course, with that being said, you simply click on his name and click enter. That way you could hear a little bit of a jingle come up. Hopefully you guys are able to hear that at home. And now you are able to do this over here. And of course, I also have this sign over here. Please change the ball color by selecting the base. If I just click X, it resets all the balls and you are able to change it over here. I'm very much a fan of my pink ball, so I'm going to go for hot pink over here. Now with that being said, you are now able to line up for your shot, double click, and there you go. And I think I got a hole in one at that rate. So obviously we are not able to actually, you know, make the balls go in the holes but with that being said i did use the north african um decal circles to kind of give that effect as it were and you are now able to kind of play golf and of course there we go two strokes that's perfect now what better place to start than the actual entrance itself this is made by silverette well it's not made the original one was that's gonna be we're gonna mess up on that so many times going on through here but the day that this got revealed i was instantly blown away and i knew that koali crew was going to be one of the headstones not headstone, that is very much not what I wanted to say, <laughs> but one of the cornerstones of the Planet Zoo community. It's just such an innovative, innovative project that really takes into account so many different architectural styles, and I always love that. And seeing Sylv tackle this beautiful Thai-inspired entrance, it really was so amazing to see. But of course, listen, we're not here to talk about architecture, we're here at golf, so obviously, we're gonna play through this. I have all the pars listed on here. Uh, a lot of them are just kind of rough estimates if you ever do play through on your own. But with that being said, we're just gonna play through this. Maybe you guys could keep track of this at home. And unfortunately, because my game is kind of like laggy right now, uh, the ball kind of gets stuck in some places. But you know what? We account for that. It's totally fine. But you saw it hit that pole right there. So obviously, it's kind of like Frisbee golf. Okay, we're just gonna say that. It's kind of like frisbee golf. So you know what? We got a part two on there. Let's continue it on. And I'm actually gonna just use uh, the touch cam over here as well. And obviously over there, we have the beautiful koali kind of like, you know, the main lagoon right in the middle of it all. I wasn't actually able to make the entire main street over there, but you know what? Just that building alone, that is perfect nonetheless. And this was actually made before I understood how to make this mini golf possible. So over here, we do have Mike's Micro House. 
Uh, and if we actually do turn on, um, if we go into camera mode, yeah, camera right there, we can disable collision and we can actually make this hole. So obviously I have a little sign over here, pop the light on. I made this before the golf was at functional. You may skip this hole or try a trick shot and I'll just show you guys how to do the trick shots. If you do pop yourself right under here at the perfect angle, you could actually hit pause and build a little bit of speed. So I clicked once and I clicked twice. And if I hit play, it'll pop itself all the way up in the air. But of course, we <laughs> uh, that's a little bit of a foul ball right there. But you know what? We're just going to continue on. Uh, at this rate, you can just skip that on your scorecard, you guys, if you are playing that at home. But of course, the Orangutan Temple made by the Mr. Rudy Renkimal. This one was always my favorite. I always love this one, and just being able to make it in miniature form. I actually did use his blueprint for that. Uh, I think I may have deleted it. Yeah, I did delete it off the map, unfortunately, but I actually did use his blueprint to get the all these colors over there. And you know what? It, I think it turned out pretty funny in the end. But of course, with that being said, we're not here to talk. We're here to golf. We're playing serious over here. And obviously, there's so many different ways to approach the hole if you are playing at home. And it's just really fun, nonetheless. So, of course, here we go, lining up for the shot. And we whiffed it. Yep, that's probably one of the biggest uh, downsides to this entire golf, is that, you know, it's not an actual golf game, so you gotta take it as it comes. But, you know what, we can do some trick shots. That was a little too good of a trick shot right there. Where did it even end up? It's probably missing. You know what? We'll just call that a scratch. But with that being said, this one's probably one of my favorites. This is the Pink Grill. You know, made by Silverette and Eben. Obviously decorated by Eben, I believe. It's been a long time since I've watched this episode. I do apologize, gentlemen. But I don't know. It just turned out so cute. Just doing all of these big builds in miniature form. It was really, really freaking fun to make. But with that being said, putt putt time. Alright, that was actually a lot better than I expected it to be. I kind of expected it to go way off the rails, but of course we have the perfect lineup right here because it did get stuck in the air. If you are experiencing that, you can turn the graphics settings down, and I believe it should be able to register the ball movements a lot better. But with that being said, we are perfectly lined up right here. Obviously, we're not, it seems. <laughs> oh, well, no, oh, no, nope, okay. Alright, we'll call that a scratch, too. I we're, We'll just play through all these kind of haphazardly. And, of course, the Reptile House by Delady. I always love this building. And if you guys actually notice in here, I use the waterfall pieces from the aquatic pack right there. But I did actually try and integrate some reptiles in here. Well, not really reptiles, they're more so amphibians. I think we can kind of see some tree frogs in here. Or maybe you could check them out on your own. I think they actually might have died. Yeah, they all died, so that's kind of sad. But with that being said, we are lining up for the shot right here. And there we go. Well, that kind of just lodged itself into the ground. But of course, you guys are welcome to do trick shots. Listen, this is your golf. Listen, you play by your own rules. And you know what? I consider that a hole in one right there. That is my own rule. But, I don't know. It was just so fun to make this to lady. You, like, I love this building. I know Mike gave you a little bit of crap about it, but it's always one of my favorites. I just, I'm a sucker for terracotta, and I don't know. It's perfect by me. But with that being said, we are moving on to the island of Sumatra with the rice fields by Rudy. I always love this one. It was so cool to see how Rudy did, like, the, um rice garden terraces and just being able to make my own it was really fun and of course with that being said you guys can do whatever you want to do on this hole if you want to pause it and get that nice trick shot going on you just edge yourself right in here click that a couple of times and watch her fly maybe it will come down maybe it won't but you know what that's just how we roll over here I have no clue where it went, but I don't know. It's a very fun. Actually, you know what? Fine. We'll play through it legit. Actually, it just went right back there, so that's kind of funny. But the main goal of this hole, 
wow, I can't even talk, is to kind of use the um, bridges to get your ball all the way over there. But with that being said, I kind of lost the ball. Whoops, what can you do? Also, Rudy, you're basically half this video, I'm sorry to say, but your builds are just always, they always connect with me. I don't know, I just feel very personally inspired by them. But with that being said, Llama Land over here, always love this with like all the banana trees on the hillside. And of course the Fallen A, always thought that was a little cute touch. But I have the little bit of a tour truck over there because I remember you guys were like, oh yeah, you kind of just like drive through the banana trees and you get to experience like the farm kind of like that. Always thought that was cute and just getting those experiences in zoos is always really cute to see. And you know what? Maybe we get a hole in one. Maybe we don't, but you know what? It's totally fine. I'm pausing that because I don't care. I played by my own rules. I don't know, it was just always fun. But there we go, and Reptile Rideau, I don't know how to pronounce that. What do I look like? Do I look French? Do I look Belgian? No, I can't pronounce that. But of course, mid by even, I always love this little bit of a tower over here. Always thought it was so beautiful. And of course, I want to integrate this kind of into its own hole. And it's just pretty fun nonetheless. And there are very different ways that you can take this course. Obviously, there are some places where you can get stuck, but listen, you can pop yourself out of there at any time. And then you get in the water trap once again, but you, well, well, that's, that's that hole. Uh, I apologize, guys, <laughs> I'm not the best at golf. Uh, moving over here, we do have the lemur roundabout and the science center. Uh, always love this screenshot over here with like this small little fountain with like this circular build around it. Always thought that was really cute, but with that being said, this is the exact place where I found out, actually this one was, but these were the holes that I found out that we do have access to this cheat over here. So I always wanted to start integrating that thing going forward. And I have this little bit of a secret tunnel over there, and if we could actually hit the ball right into there we might be able to see it go down that little thing so you know what i'm just doing this for my own purposes obviously don't cheat at home that's bad that's bad but with that being said it can go down there obviously and then it should result in a hole in one if it does end up on that little track right there hopefully it'll come down pretty soon there it comes or it'll just get kind of stuck okay no it's there there we go but obviously, the, the track, well, you know, the monorail track in the actual zoo does have these little monorail cars going on, like that little loop around it. But of course, with that being said, I have the ball there instead because I like the ball so much better. You can take that to your mama and quote that, if that makes sense. I don't know. But moving on from there, we do have the Sumatra Island. And also, I have this little bit of a connecting path over there in case you don't want to jump down from there. But I do have this by Eben, and we have a little bit of a Fennec Fox friend, but you know what, we can just ignore them for now. But oh yeah, the Fennec Fox really wanted to play with that ball, that's kind of funny. Um, that's a little bit of a course hazard right there, hope you guys enjoy that. But with that being said, I really base this off of Eben's builds on the Sumatra Island itself. I really was very taken aback by this architecture style, and always thought it looked really beautiful nonetheless. So you know what, there we go, amazing work Eben. I know my builds are a little bit of a step down from yours, but it was really fun just to recreate that nonetheless. And of course, you can putt-putt this to your heart's content. Or you could just double click on the rock, so of course we're moving forward with that. But now we also have the Congo House by Mr. Rudy. Hell, everything is made by Rudy in here. I do apologize, I apologize to like the rest of the Kuali crew. I just always loved Rudy's builds. But of course, this is a little bit of a tunnel over here. So you are able to kind of go into the building. Or you could absolutely whiff that shot entirely. So I'm just going to reset that right there. And we're actually just going to putt-putt that right down the center. I said right down the center. Or we just phase it right into the earth itself. 
I do so that's a problem with my computer. It can't handle the high graphics and calculate where the ball is going to go at the same time, so I do apologize on that. If you guys are looking for a different way to make shots, you can kind of use this technique by having like this overview. Um, and if you kind of just go like that, you are able to kind of putt-putt it from a top-down perspective. I think that kind of helps in situations kind of like this. Obviously, you aren't able to get like that full power throttle on it, but it still works pretty well nonetheless. And I want to get it down this little thing right there. Obviously, because I want it to... Well, well, that's not fair. You know what? I'm just going to show you guys this nonetheless if you do get it. But with that being said, you can kind of plop your ball right onto here. And it'll just flow right down this little bamboo chute right here. I thought this was a cute little way to integrate that, like, ball physics. I always thought that was, like, I always love courses like this in actual mini golf. It's just really cool just to see, like, you know, just ways that the ball can kind of move. And, of course, you know, you get the risk of falling into the water trap right there. So that's a little unfortunate. Also, this is the Proboscis Monkey Falls, kind of like the Cenote. Uh, made by Rudy, of course. What a surprise. Uh, but moving on from there, we have one made by literally everyone. Uh, Rudy, Eben, and Mike with their beautiful, beautiful safari tour. Uh, this is the biggest hole we have in here, so obviously it is a par 6. And with that being said, it's just a nice little romp through this beautiful safari over here with a nice little river going through the midst of it. And you do have areas for guests to kind of cross over the path. So if they do want to uh, walk on the main path over there, or kind of cross over on this way so they are able to access the ball over there. They're able to. They can do that to their own heart's little content. But with that being said, this is a really fun course to play through. I'm just rushing through it because I don't want to bore you guys with how crappy my golf skills are. But you know what? Here is the Tybal... Tybal? Wow, that is a new word. Wonderful. Here's the Tiger Temple Overpass by Delady. I think all of you guys may recognize this one. Obviously, I could not, like get all the small details that the lady was able to accomplish with these but I thought it was a really cute concept nonetheless the ball literally passes over so obviously you can kind of putt-putt the ball going all the way up there and yeah you just kind of do it all the way up the loop kind of like that and you do have a little bit of a tiger statue over there um, I tried my best to decorate in the most of my capabilities if it makes sense uh, obviously, I'm no Mr. Sheet, so I can't really do the foliage all too well. But, you know, you know, you got what you got when you come to leaf. But with that being said, you kind of put the ball right all the way over there. Or it goes backwards, but you know what, with that being said, it just ends up all the way over there for you guys to try. And of course, moving on from there, what a surprise, we have another Rudy build. I really love the Shark Tunnel particularly. And I really did want to recreate that myself. So you know what? We putt-putt through here. Kind of goes off the course a little bit, but we can make those mistakes. You know what? It's totally fine. You're playing on your own rules over here. And I do got to give a shout out to Drac for these beautiful, beautiful fish. Obviously, they're not sharks, but, you know, it still fits the vibe nonetheless. And if we can find the ball, did I up and lose it? Oh, no, it actually made it a lot further than I thought. But with that being said, you put it all the way back over there. And yeah, you're pretty much at the end of the course. Uh, I do apologize right here. I'm gonna keep that fixed in the next, well, in the actual version. Uh, yeah, this is why I should probably do quality control checks. Whoops. Uh, with that being said though, there we go. Am I right? Hole in one, perfect. Now, moving on from there, we also have the Zwed Sweets, Zwed Sweets by Eben. Uh, always love these. Just the fact that you guys made hotels in this park. God damn, I wish this place were real. But, of course, pretty simple hole over here. You just gotta putt it right up in the air. Right up in the air. Right up in the air. Oh, I had my settings open. Whoops. Uh, there we go. Okay, well... Planet Zoo is getting very angry with me today. Not sure what's happening there. But of course, put it all the way over there. And you know what? We're just going to pretend that's a hole-in-one. You know? That's fine. 
Of course, over here we have the Orangutan Education Center. Originally, I believe it was for the Komodo Dragon uh, by Mr. Rudy and Mike. And obviously, it's a nice little roundabout course. You kind of pop it over there, and then you pop it up there, and then you're right at the hole. And obviously, you can kind of do some trick shots kind of like that, but you know what? That's the hole right there. I don't need to tell you guys anything else. And of course, this one was a wonderful way to end it. Obviously, I could not make very in-depth roller coasters, but I did want to give a little bit of an homage to Koali Beach, obviously made by Syl Broody Corrales Delady. I do apologize, I didn't actually watch the series. I wasn't around in the Planet Coaster days, I do apologize. But it was a beautiful park nonetheless, and I wanted to get the volcano and like, you know, all the hotel boardwalks over there. And you know what, I think that is a wonderful way to end it over there. And if we do get that hole, I'd be very much surprised. But with that being said guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to the Kuali crew for being literally awesome, like you guys have really inspired me to really like go out and make this channel myself so I don't know it's just it's just very humble just to see how far Koali has come and where Koali has to go from here but with that being said we're gonna end it over here at the fountain why not thank you guys so much for watching thank you to the Koali crew obviously Mr. Mike Sheets, Rudy, Delady, Eben, Silverette, oh my gosh guys, you guys are literally all amazing, but with that being said, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you everyone at home, uh, I'm gonna have the cinematics for this entire park out later today, I think it should be out around noon EST. With that being said though, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye bye now. Oh.